in the Pacific states, in Oregon, Washington, and California, um, fishers, female fishers range from about three and a half pounds to five and a half pounds in size, and males are twice that size, so there's a huge size discrepancy. Most people think about saying like it's a house cat with a really, really long tail, really fuzzy long tail, and that if you see one of those flitting through the woods, then that's probably what you're seeing. Their cousin, the Martin, is much smaller. Um, it goes by many names. People call them fishers. They're often called Pacific fisher on the west coast to distinguish them from the fishers that also occur in the Rocky Mountains and in the east coast and the lake states. Um, they've had the names of pole cats, various names throughout history, but what we call them today are fishers. Fishers have a pretty general diet. Um, in the West Coast, once again, they eat things a little bit differently than they do, say, in British Columbia. Now, in Oregon, Washington, and California, their diet's a little bit more general. They prey on small mammals. Better than 50% of their diet is on small mammals. Um, they also eat a lot of carrion, so deer carcasses and things in the woods. They will eat birds. And when you get down into the southern Sierra Fisher population, they actually will um, consume lizards and yellow jackets. Fishers are very, very elusive, very hard to survey for, very hard to study. And so we really need to come up with creative, non-invasive techniques to study the populations. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has been concerned about the fisher for a number of years. In 2004, it became a candidate. And we've been doing lots of studies and investigations since that time in looking at different factors that affect fishers. And we're in the process right now of doing an evaluation about 10 years later here, looking at all of this new data related to um, new threats, which the, the um, rodenticide threat is a new identified threat, as well as really getting a better handle on home range use of fishers, what the prey resources are that they need, and potentially how wildfire, loss of habitat to wildfire might affect fisher populations.